transferring files using the Janta Clearance Uploader application. You can use the Janta Clearance Uploader application to automatically upload videos, media, and other file types without manually logging into Janta Clearance. Uploaded files are searchable and can be added to cases. The Janta Clearance Uploader must be associated with a Janta Clearance account in order to be able to upload media to that account and you must have an active internet connection. Let's take a quick look at how the uploader works and how files are transferred to the Janatech Clearance service. The Janatech Clearance uploader application automatically downloads media files from body-worn cameras and saves them on the machine the uploader service is installed on. The media files are then uploaded from your client to the Janatech Clearance account. Deferred schedule uploads can optimize this process by performing the upload activities at a more convenient time. These functions can also be performed automatically by the service in the background. When you want to upload content in the background, you can use the Janatech Clearance Uploader service. The Janatech Clearance Uploader agent is not required. The Janatech Clearance Uploader supports a maximum of 26 concurrent cameras per workstation or server when using a multi-dock. Logs are also kept to provide details about media uploads. These event logs can be found in C, Program Data, App Data, Local, Jantec Clearance, Logs. To download media from a body-worn camera, simply dock your body-worn camera or connect it to the client workstation the uploader is running on, and the media files are automatically downloaded from the camera and saved to your client workstation. The media files can be found in C, Program Data, App Data, Local, Janatech Clearance, Data, Files. While transferring files, you can see the status of the transfer by clicking on the Device tile or the All Files tile. Use the Back button to go back to the Monitor page, or click on the Menu button to jump to the Monitor, Event Log, or Settings page. After the download completes, the media files are deleted from the camera. Looking at the uploader agent, the camera tile in the monitor page turns green after the download completes to indicate that the camera can be removed from the dock. The media files are then uploaded from your client workstation to your Janatech Clearance account. If no schedule is specified, the media files are uploaded immediately. If an upload schedule is specified, the media files are automatically uploaded to the Janatech Clearance account at the deferred schedule time. Scheduled uploads are useful when using a multi-dock or when uploading media from multiple devices. After the upload of the media file completes, the media files are deleted from the client workstation. If a file transfer from the device to the workstation or from the workstation to the service is interrupted, the file will not be deleted until the transfer has been confirmed as completed. If you need to set up or change an upload schedule, you can do so from the Settings section of the Janatech Clearance Uploader Agent. You must have administrator access to view or change these settings. To view and manage the status of connected devices, files being downloaded to the client workstation, and files being uploaded to Janatech Clearance, use the Monitor page from the Janatech Clearance Uploader Agent. In the Monitor page, you have tiles to view the status of all files and a tile for each device or folder connected to the service. The icon in the center of the tile indicates what kind of entity it represents, such as a file or body-worn camera, and the tile color and status icon will show the state of the entity. Here are the states and icons for camera tiles, the All Files tile, and the Sync folder tile. From the Uploader agent, you can investigate the files being downloaded to the client workstation, files being uploaded to Janatech Clearance, or the status of a connected device by viewing the Janatech Clearance Uploader event logs. To view the logs, click on the Event Logs button on the side. If the side buttons are not visible, click on the Menu button to display them. From the Event Log History, click on the Level, Message, or Timestamp column header to sort the events by this column in ascending order. Click again to change to descending order. You can also use the drop-down menu in the top right corner to choose what to display. You can choose All Events, information events or errors.